everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Today I am filming my February favorites and I feel like I've tried like a decently amount of new things in the past month. So I thought I would share with you guys what I've really been loving. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this Tatcha the Rice Wash. I've always heard good things about this and I don't know what took me so long to try this. I used to use their other face wash. I'm drawing a blank on what it was called. It was a blue one. I think it's like exfoliating wash or something, but this one is the best wash ever. It makes you feel so clean and it goes on so thick, so a little really goes a long way. I feel like I haven't used anything from Tatcha that I don't like, so um, I'm coming to realize that I just love everything from this brand, so if you are in the like need for a new face wash, definitely try out this one. And the next product is this Fresh Vitamin and Nectar Moisturize Glow Face Cream. Um, it smells super fruity and good. I use the Fresh um, Rose, Hyaluronic Rose something uh, moisturizer before and I went through three jars of it, absolutely loved it. So I wanted to try another moisturizer from their line and I love this one as well. They're all so good. What I like about them is that they don't leave me feeling greasy after because a lot of moisturizers, actually most moisturizers, leave that greasy feeling on my face all day so I hate that and I'm sure a lot of people do so this has been amazing for me another one of my favorites is this jojoba oil I got mine at better health but I will link everything down below that I mentioned this has been so nice I put it all over my face and wash my face every night or day whatever whenever I get it in but I guess you can use this on your hair and body as well and it doesn't leave me greasy and nasty um, I even put it on during the day sometimes and it does not look like I have oil slathered up all over my face so I've really been liking this and I love putting on oil at night because I wake up in the morning with super soft skin so definitely check that out. I guess we'll stick on the theme of skincare. So next I have my jet lag mask by Summer Fridays. I know this is like an oldie but goodie. Um, I've been using this a lot lately just because it's the winter months, I'm super dry stuff like that but even in the summer I really like this it makes your skin super soft I like like I said with the jojoba oil and stuff I like putting on thick creams oils things like that just to really lock everything in and keep wrinkles at bay this really like brightens my complexion I feel like so definitely try this if you're like one of the few people that has never tried the jet lag mask next I'm gonna get into my favorite lip combo of all time I have it on my lips right now and it is the MAC World Lip Liner, which is super oldie, but just um, that like outline my lips with and then MAC's kind of sexy lipstick. So I was kind of dirty, but that's the lipstick. It's such a pretty nude, nudie pink. I wouldn't say nude, but. And then topped with Tower 28's lip gloss in the color Oat. I've been loving this lip gloss with everything. I put it on top of every lip color and it looks good with every single lip color, lipstick that I've put on my lips. And these are so affordable and they go on so smoothly and silky and they're not sticky at all. So this lip gloss has been so amazing. I need more colors of it cause it's just that good, but loving the lip color, super cute. And yeah, next I have my NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. This has been next level. I used to use, or I was using their um, powder brush, powdered blush. And now I do uh, this, I just stipple it onto this brush right here. A little goes a very long way guys, you do not need a lot. So I just put a little on my brush and then just poke it over, poke, 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 and then poke, stipple, stipple it on, put a little across my nose to give that real sun, uh, sun kissed look. And this is my Sephora 64 brush, a nice stippling brush. This is also my favorite. I've been loving this brush so much. I feel like Sephora has such good brushes. And if you've never tried them, you seriously should because I feel like they're such good quality for the price. But yeah, I just stippled this on. And it just looks so good and pretty. I love uh, um, Nara's Orgasm Blush. It's such a pretty shade. Next, we have my favorite brush that I've been doing my eyeliner with on the corner of my eye. I do use a powdered um, eyeliner. Well, I use eyeshadow for eyeliner. This is an It Cosmetics 202 brush just a nice little angled brush like that and I just feel like it's so soft and easy to apply like I'm not very good at eye makeup at all but this brush makes it so easy to apply makeup with 
and I really love it. And if you need a new eyeliner brush, I suggest you try this. And to tie into that is my favorite makeup palette. I know this is an oldie, the Master Palette by Mario. This is also disgusting, I'm sorry. I use the color Violetta to just you, um, do my liner. It's just like a pretty brown. This is such a like nice neutral palette for every day. So that's what I use in my outer corner daily for um, my eyeliner. I feel like I'm not into a super black, um, liquidy, um, harsh eyeliner anymore. I just want something subtle and cute. So that's been amazing. Next we have hair care. I have the Orbe Dry, uh, Dry Texturizing Spray. This is tried and true. I've been using it for probably like five years now. The smell, if you've ever smelled any Orbe products, they're just next level. But um, I have super like soft hair, so when I curl my hair or do anything besides leave it straight, it falls really quickly. So what I like to do is just spray this all over my hair for some grit and then curl it and it holds my curls a lot better, just gives it more texture. And yeah, I really love this. Everything from Orbe is so amazing and it smells amazing, like I said. So if you haven't tried any Orbe products, you definitely, definitely should. I used to work at a hair salon as a receptionist, so I used to buy all the products in the world. So that's where I've tested all these things. But next is this comb brush. Um, it is from Amazon. I don't have the exact name, but it'll link down below. This I've been um, blow drying my hair with, and when I tell you the way it smooths out my hair and reduces the frizz is the next level. I know they have hair brushes like this that are like $300 or something crazy. This one was nowhere near that. I think it was like 20 bucks but I've been loving this for blowing out my hair. It just makes my hair so smooth and silky, but um, those are all of my products that I um, have been loving lately. If you guys are gonna try any of them, please let me know, and let me know if there's any products that I should try. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.